I was recently having some issues working with drawing files in Autodesk Inventor and the associations with presentation files. Proper updating between the drawing file and the presentation file. This is how a sheet would normally look for my particular drawing. But when I make a change to one of the assemblies, those changes may show up in the assembly. And you can see in this particular page that I didn't update yet properly, you'll see what like one specific drawing shows all kinds of components that shouldn't be shown. It really should only be showing a very small portion of that. But when you make a change with the, within the assembly, the visibility changes. So the proper way to change and show the correct visibility is to go back into the inventor presentation file. I'm going to open this one up and you can see that it doesn't show all those assemblies or the, all those parts in this particular drawing. But if I go to the explosion, which is the snapshot that is being used in this drawing, that's the part that will need to be changed. So to properly reflect the changes, you'll need to edit this particular snapshot or the snapshot that you're being, that's being used and to see what that is actually you can go to the specific view and you can edit the view and you'll see what is being used and also make sure that the association is clicked this little chain link here and in the view is explosion one and if i go to that particular view or that particular presentation you can see that it's explosion one and i just double click it to edit that and you also notice that there was a an update there, but I don't want to use that update. I'm actually going to break the link to that update. So I want to take out those. You can see that I also made sure to make them invisible or the visi visibility to none. Um, and after I made a change, parts of this assembly became visible. You can see here. So I need to do this again. So I'm going to make it visible first. I'm going to break the link, make it visible, and then make it invisible. So all of the sub assemblies become invisible. And then I have a couple more things that became visible. So now that I have the proper part of the assembly being shown, I can go ahead and close the presentation, save it, and in the drawing, if I select it, you can see that only that part of the assembly is being shown. I have to do this for the remaining of these panes. So all of these views I have to update. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. While I go through and fix all of these presentation files, let me explain why I actually have so many presentation files. I duplicate presentation files because they are relatively small in size and I'm able to add steps later on if I need to without having to modify all of the tweaks that I've created initially. So if I make a change to the machine assembly, the overall assembly of this machine, the parts that I modify will become visible in all of the presentation files. I'm not sure if there is a better way to create these instruction sets. If you are familiar with Inventor and you know of a better way, let me know in the comments. Okay, now I have only one more to go. This is the, the last pane. You can also see that it's a little bit more clear to understand that this is actually not centered anymore into my uh, slot or spot that I wanted it to be. And when I do make a, a change to the actual assembly for the for whatever I'm working on, um, if those parts do show up here, the center becomes shifted. So the takeaway from this video to review is if there is a part of your drawing that's not updating correctly or shows updated parts from your assembly, the way I know how to do it is to go into the inventor presentation. I'm going to double click the snapshot view or you can press the right button and edit. 
and then that snapshot is going to show up within the view and whatever was whatever had become visible because of some editing that you've done you want to make sure that you're doing this editing within the snapshot view because this snapshot view is used in the drawing when I exit this it's going to save it and now my document is is revised if there is a easier or more permanent way to do this please let me know in the comments or if you know of another technique thank you for watching